Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is uh, quite another subject as all the previous talks. Uh, what I'm going to talk about is basically about uh, the features of Apache Solar, which is uh, obviously one of the Apache projects and uh, which is also an embeddable search engine that we use for our own search engine that plugs into our content management system, which is PHP-based. Yeah. So what is it in a nutshell? It's a front-end to the uh, enterprise-grade Apache Solar, which is on his turn uh, based on the C libraries in, written in Java. And then it's a search engine for our uh, Easy Publish content management system, which is written in PHP. It provides basically all the features that you uh, may want from a search, for, from a search engine, like uh, tunable relevancy ranking, sorting, filtering, Drill down navigation, like facets, which is used uh, on more and more sites and which really helps uh, a user to find quickly what he wants. Uh, it also provides heuristics for uh, providing automatic related content. It provides spell checking, highlighting of, of uh, keywords, and as well as some mechanisms for external content indexing. Now, Apache Solar itself, it has a, a very nice architecture. And basically, it follows uh, a flat database model, document field paradigm that you also may find in uh, databases like CouchDB. Uh, that makes it also very much uh, suited for structured content, because in st with structured content, you can apply all kinds of uh, heuristics and rules uh, to influence the relevancy, have filtering and facets, uh, sometimes even much more powerful than you can get flat from a database. Uh, with respect to text and languages, uh, it provides also uh, language-dependent analysis, both at index and at query, query time. The bindings are very simple. It's a REST interface. It uh, follows through uh, everything over HTTP. And it provides currently quite some response formats, so it's very easy to integrate with your applications written in a, uh, various uh, set of languages. It provides 6ML, JSON, PHP, Python, and so on. Okay, a bit more into the features now. Uh, it provides tunable relevancy ranking, both at index time, which you can regard as, as a kind of really hard-coded uh, way of saying this type of content uh, is much more important than the other, regardless of what the user uh, wants. Or you can do it at query time, when the user searches for it, and provide, of course, uh, with some interface elements to, to control this process. Uh, how does it work? Uh, as Solar is a document-oriented uh, uh, kind of storage, I wouldn't call it a database, but it's sometimes close to it. Uh, it provides uh, boosting on the document, some pages may be more important than others, as well as at the field level. So if some uh, title it contains typically the, the most important words of, a, of a, an article, you can say, okay, if the matches are in this article, the search uh, results uh, will be so that that article will be pushed to the top. You can also uh, influence it in a much harder way. You can, what we call in SOAR, elevate predefined pages to the top when certain keywords are entered. This is typically used also in e-commerce uh, applications, where, for example, when you search for iPod, you definitely get uh, the most important pages uh, related to that. You can also tune the relevancy ranking in much more interesting ways. Uh, you can use customized functions for that. And that allows you to put more weight on, for example, more recent content, like news. If you have a large uh, news site, uh, which has articles over many years, you may say, OK, I still want to have the most recent articles a bit pushed up. Uh, other uses are boosting on geospatial parameters, like proximity searches. If you want to have a restaurant which provides a nice uh, kind of lobster uh, preparation, well, you can search for it and that it's not too far away from you, if your application is designed by that, of course. Filtering and sorting, uh, it's incredibly powerful. It provides fuzzy, boolean, and uh, all kinds of uh, uh, combinations of it. And it can also be used even to, uh, to speed up queries of databases. Facets. The illustration here, I think, says enough. On the right, oops. Mm. 
on the right you see uh, the a kind of a navigation menu which just shows the hits uh, for the certain for the query that you entered so basically along the main query you can specify fields like uh, typically metadata as well as queries and these and can be used to build back the user interfaces required uh, to have a very fast uh, navigation to uh, the results he wants. Another nice feature, this is tip, well, quite some, uh, with quite some heuristics, it's uh, automatic related content. This is used, by the way, by uh, more and more uh, large news uh, sites like BBC. Uh, and it tries to correlate articles that exist with the page that you are viewing. Basically, it uses heuristics to perform a query in the background and uh, assembles, uh, yeah, assembles that for returning the, a, a normal search, actually, without user interaction. All the features from Sora can be used here, like filtering, sorting, also the facets that I uh, dis, uh, described before. It's really, really, really powerful. It requires some tuning, though. Uh, you need to experiment with it uh, before it uh, really starts to function like you want. This is a small example. I hope it's more or less visible. But uh, here on the top, you have a part of a page. And uh, the backend search engine SOAR uh, is here used. Oops, once more. Yeah. Uh, to search for other articles that uh, resemble the page that you are uh, looking at and provides them content that you may be interested in. Uh, spell checking is provided in uh, two different possibilities, two different strategies actually. You could provide a dictionary yourself with uh, all kinds of terms, uh, or you can use the indexed terms inside the, the search index. And this is actually recommended because if you have uh, a site with typically proper names or expressions that are not really uh, that common or names or whatever, uh, you will not find them in a normal dictionary. But since they are part of the content, uh, the spell check becomes then also much more relevant and complete. Um, it is possible to uh, ask for a kind of uh, Google approach, best guess. So, for example, if you look for green bottle, that it will try to uh, uh, put out an alternative phrase entirely. There are much more other uh, possibilities here. There is, it's actually endless with solar, it seems. Language features, um, it provides a kind of semantic search and normally this term should be used in a real semantic language uh, scientific context. Uh, but since so many uh, commercial search engines abuse it, I don't mind to do it here as well. Uh, SOAR is multilingual out of the box, but it is not so trivial. I think it is a bit due to the fact that most of the developers are uh, from the US and they do not care too much about alternative languages or think that a site should be monolingual. Anyway, what we did is uh, try uh, two approaches. It's an implementation with uh, dedicated fields, metadata fields, which provide just the, the, the language in which the page uh, is indexed. Uh, that means that there is a, a common index for all the languages, and it has also some, some problems uh, with the uh, statistics used to, to provide uh, the relevancy scores. Uh, because you basically dilute terms uh, between languages, the algorithms to, to uh, make this relevancy uh, happening don't work so good. So the second approach is what we uh, used, uh, what we used uh, is uh, by using shards, which basically creates multiple indexes, one per language, and where you can also apply all the tuning about analysis uh, per language. Um, one of the problems typically is also that uh, yeah, all kinds of algorithms like stemming really depend on the language. For English, it's relatively simple. If you look for Dutch, it becomes a bit more complicated. If you go for Finnish, it's very, very difficult. Anyway, but using charts, you can tune per language, uh, as long as your content is multilingual, of course, and then it will uh, work a lot better. Stemming that is used to reduce words to a more common form, uh, basically as a side effect that it corrects almost magically spelling errors although spell checking is provided, as I explained before. Another nice feature in the analysis steps that you can do is uh, activate normalization. For example, Latin one characters, the characters you find in, 
French and uh, Eastern European languages or German, they can be all normalized to a common form. The same with the query terms that the user enters. So the match is uh, always there regardless if the keyword was spelled with the accent or not. Another way of uh, catching some of the typical spelling errors is introduced by users. Another nice thing with Solar, um, which you will not be able to do immediately with uh, the Lucene libraries, but we, we need it because it's that much more elementary, uh, is that there are already mechanisms provided to uh, index the content which could be called external, because usually you use Solar as an embedded uh, search server for your uh, application. And it can do this in various ways. One of the ways that is possible is what is called the data import handler. And it is a mechanism uh, where you just need to configure a few XML files, and that allows Solar to pull content either from a database or from some kind of XML feed or store. That works out of the box and is uh, really important and catches basically quite some uh, appli yeah, um, application requirements. Other ways to do it is uh, crawling. Why not? You can, what I did or what we did was uh, writing a custom plugin, which basically uses Nudge, which is another Apache project that provides crawling, uh, extraction of content uh, with the Tika libraries, and uh, just feeds, in this case, the, the SOAR index uh, by itself. If you have much more complex things or you, you need to be more, much more in charge, uh, which typically uh, is the case with uh, all kinds of content management systems, uh, then you need to write your own plugin for the da databases that you typically use. This is basically also what we do with Easy Publish. So, yeah, explain it a little bit. Uh, the native features of Solar are already uh, very powerful. Or you can write custom plugins uh, or use Nudge. It's a really cool project. If some people use Nudge and looked also at Aperture, uh, there is currently work going on to uh, also provide integration between Aperture and Solar. Uh, Solar itself is it's very scalable and fast, although some people say to, uh, always tell to me, hey, this is Java, this must be slow. No, it's on the server side. Uh, uh, when the hotspot compiler kicks in, uh, it becomes really, really fast. And typically benchmarks that, uh, that we did and that other people have done, a normal uh, server can easily, easily serve uh, an index of 10 to 100 million objects with typically five search requests a second. The only thing that it needs is memory, lots of memory. Um, one of the reasons that it is fast is actually that it also uses all kinds of uh, internal caching strategies. Um, typically, when you create a, a, crash, a cache in an application and something is updated afterwards, caches are discarded and are rebuilt uh, at the first opportunity that, that needs it. In Solar, it's different, it's proactively. So if a cache exists and it's not valid anymore because you add new content uh, to your database, it will recreate the caches in the background until everything is ready and switches them live so they're immediately available for the next request that comes in. can easily host uh, typically multiple sites if you think of content management system on one engine. And it has even for the very large uh, uh, requirements on scalability and performance uh, kind of built-in clustering. Secure, um, because it is a document-oriented storage system, you can easily add fields meta fields that you can use uh, to implement security as long as your security model of your application resembles a kind of role-based system. The nice thing with that is also that uh, the security rules are converted to cached filters inside Solar and it really, really makes it uh, very, very fast. If you don't have it, the, usually you are running into big problems if security is needed. Uh, because you usually need to do some post-processing on your data for every request. Okay, that was it. Uh, for more information, please do visit uh, the Apache Solar site if you have never done it. Uh, it's a really cool and very emerging project, especially for web content uh, management systems or any data sources that need to be searched and queried. And it is really relevant as typical 
websites, uh, uh, if you look at the traffic they get when there is a search enabled function in it, it rises to easily 30-40% of all your uh, visits. If you're interested in our implementation with uh, Solar, which is called Easy Find, you can also find it. We are uh, basically a multinational company with headquarters uh, in Norway. Or if you have specific questions on Solar or uh, Easy Find or whatever related to it, you can email me. It's a very short email address. Okay. Thank you. That was it.